Um, so I was asked to tell you all about what's watch night. I'm pretty sure some of you have heard some stuff about watch nights, but I just want to um, give you a little background. So I think you may have heard before that watch night started during the eve of the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Anybody heard about that? Okay, so I got an email about that, but I, of course, me being me, want to do a little more research. And um, the actual term watch night, or the idea of having a watch night service, dates farther back than the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Um, I think at the Czech Republic, there was a, a group of people that would do that. And then John Wesley, in about, let me get the date right. In the mid 1700s, John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist Church, um, he adopted this thing from the Czech Republic where there was a covenant service to renew religious faith on New Year's Day. And those gatherings evolved into what's called watch night service. But what also is true, though, is that there was a gathering of abolitionists, including Frederick Douglass, in Boston on the eve of the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. So that was December 31st, 1862, and they watched to make sure that there would be a signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. And so it is believed by theologians and historians that black people from that tradition evolved into what we now are doing today is a watch night service commemorating the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. And of course, you all know that the Emancipation Proclamation is what freed the slaves in the Confederate States, not in all of America, but only in the Confederate States. Mm. So, any questions? Any One question. Wonderful. All right, thank you.